In this video, we'll take a look at a very important topic in JavaScript and it's called arrow functions. Uh, I've opened up my JS fiddle window and let me show you what the syntax of a normal function looks like, right? So this is what a normal function looks like. You have uh, in the name of the function and then you have is equal to function and then you write argument one, argument two, right? You pass the arguments and then you have a return expression, right? You return something from the function. That's what you do, right? For a normal function, but with arrow functions, this is the syntax. So we have let func is equal to uh, argument one, argument two. So you can see that you don't have to write function. Firstly, that's the difference. And then you have this uh, is equal to and then arrow sign, which is called as the arrow function. This is the arrow function, right? And then you just have the expression directly. You don't have to, you don't need to have uh, the curly braces as well, especially if it's a small function. So let me show you some real examples. So I hope you are, um, you've understood the syntax. Now I'll start showing you some real examples so that uh, you get more comfortable with the syntax. So let me show you a regular function. So let's say the function is called sum and it's a function and it, ha it accepts two uh, parameters a and b and then it returns a plus b. Okay. And now if you want to write this as an arrow function, how would you do that? So you'd say let sum is equal to a comma b right uh, again as you can notice we don't have to write function here and then you create this uh, fat uh, arrow it's called the arrow op uh, operator right and then you have the a plus b which uh, was supposed to be inside these curly braces but like i said uh, if the function is small if it's just a single line function you don't need to uh, have curly braces and that's uh, that's how this would work and then uh, you can call this function sum and then you can pass 1 and 2 to this and let me first comment this out right and uh, <clears throat> I'll say where uh, result is equal to this and then let's output that out and see what happens result. so we get the result which is 3 so 1 plus 2 is three but now let's comment out this function and just see what the arrow function does so as you can see you get three as a, as a result so you don't have to write return you don't have to have to write function you don't have to put these curly braces so you save a lot of space and this is just a much cleaner syntax and then there are many benefits uh, that you get with an arrow function uh, for example uh, there are no problems with this keyword which i'll be sharing in uh, one of the upcoming videos so you don't have to worry about that so there are many benefits to use uh, the arrow function and this is generally uh, what people are using these days uh, this is the general accepted way of writing functions now and uh, people are moving away from the regular functions which are these so just need to keep that in mind you'll see more and more of this right especially if you're uh, doing react js and uh, <clears throat> let's look at another example uh, I, I think I'll have to make a new video. Uh, so the video just after this, we'll have that second example that I'm talking about for the other functions. So see you in the next video. Thank you.